here at the Hawaii State Supreme Court, and I'm here with Jose Fajardo, President and General Manager of Hawaii Public Radio. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. I think you're newly on the job. Yes, almost a full year at Hawaii Public Radio. I came in to uh, take over from Michael Titterton, who retired in June, and I started officially on July 1st. And coming in new to mm -hmm. Hawaii as well, and into this new role, you have some projects that are pretty special. Right. We had two major projects that I was happy to help fulfill and get past the finish line. One was our recent statewide transmission project, which allowed us to take Hawaii Public Radio to all the islands of the state of Hawaii. And we completed that in November of this past year by putting in a transmitter in Hilo, bringing HPR2 to the east side of the big island of Hawaii. So now we're able to say we have almost 100% coverage of Hawaii Public Radio through the entire state of Hawaii. And the second, our big project was our recent program realignment, which allowed us to put all of our news programs on one stream, HPR1, and our classical music programs on HPR2. Maybe you can help the public understand or can be informed mm -hmm. about the breadth of Hawaii Public Radio. I mean, there's so many interviews and music, it's really exciting. Absolutely, well, Hawaii Public Radio has been around for 35 years in this community. Uh, and it provides not just national and international news and interview programs, but also a lot of local content. 31% of our programming is produced locally here in Hawaii, and that's uh, music programs and news and information programs. And how do you integrate the national information? So we have our national programs, and sometimes within our national programs, we have cutaways that we can insert a local three-minute news program, but we also have long-form programs like the conversation that we air at 11 o'clock in Bite Marks Cafe and The Body Show that are also locally produced on HPR. I always find so much inspiration, mm -hmm. even listening to the music, and I would love to be able to have the youth look at public radio as a not only a viable option mm -hmm. for them, but also a place to go to. Is that part of the vision? Absolutely. So we just recently um, expanded Bridging the Gap, which is a locally produced music show by DJ Mr. Nick that has a <laughs> young following. It used to air only on Saturdays. Now it's on Monday through Fridays from 10 to midnight. And we hope that that serves as an introduction, as a gateway to our younger listeners to find Hawaii Public Radio, become long-term listeners and supporters of the station. And because we're such a visual society, mm -hmm. how does listening play into that? Well, well, listening plays into it in a variety of ways because we want our listeners not just to tune in, to listen to news and information, but interact with us. So we just launched a new app that's available on the Apple Store mm -hmm. and Google Store, which allow our listeners to actually look at public radio on their Apple phone or their smart devices, uh, look at stories, download stories, listen to them, or read the stories as well. That's pretty unique. It is. It's very exciting. <laughs> How exciting. It is because it's a new tool for us to use to connect our content with our listeners here in the state of Hawaii. Is that part of your background? Well, my background is uh, 30 plus years in radio and TV. So I manage public radio and TV stations in Texas and Orlando and not just radio here. But I'm a very tech, I'm a geeky guy. So I like <laughs> technology and I want to explore technology as well. Uh, and you come with rich cult culture and history as well. Yeah, born and raised in Puerto Rico. So I have a little bit of island life experience. Lived in Texas for a while and then Orlando, Florida, where I lived 20 years before moving to Hawaii. And I love it. I love it so much. So in one snapshot um, statement, perhaps, or mm -hmm. a thought, your joy. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I, I fell in love with the radio when I was eight years old. I love the, the fact that we are able to, I'm able to share through this medium of radio the joy of music or the joy of learning and information. And just connecting with listeners is just terrific for me. Well, you certainly bring that energy to thank Hawaii you. Public Radio. And I want to thank you for taking your time oh, and pleasure. definitely encourage the public to listen in. Absolutely. Thank you. We've been chatting with Jose Fajardo, President and General Manager of Hawaii Public Radio. Tune into them too.